Michigan State University reopened its campus today for the start of a new school year, and that includes parts of the university that have been closed since last year's mass shooting. It is our top story tonight at six. Thank you for joining us. I'm Sherry Jones. Siobhan has the night off. Well, MSU has been working in these spaces for months to redesign them into community gathering areas that students can feel safe in again after a mass shooting that killed three people and injured five in February of 2023. And that includes projects like reworking the floor plans and patching bullet marks. Our Nick Simon was on campus today to see how students feel about the changes. Nick? That's right. Berkey Hall was where the worst of the shooting took place. This was where seven students were shot and two would later die of their injuries. And now university officials hope that it can be a place of healing. Uh, it's very modern, very nice. Uh, I knew it was made in the 40s, so it doesn't look like it was made in the 40s. It looks like it, it was actually renovated. The first thing students notice when they walk into the new Berkey Hall is an open floor plan where a lecture hall used to be. There, you can find comfortable seating where there used to be rows of desks that students used to take cover. You'll also find a lot of natural light flooding in through the windows that kids jumped out of when trying to get away. We saw dozens of students using the space, and they tell me that they appreciate the chance to move forward. I mean, like people are happy that it's, you know, renovated, that it's, you know, we can move that past us and that we can uh, come back to these uh, Berkeley Hall and just get back to learning, but also remember those who died here. For students who spend a lot of time in the building, they tell me that shutting down the space for more than a year was the right move. Yeah, um, I was glad that it was closed. I like had class like earlier in the day when that happened. But they also say that walking in to see the new space has been a pleasant surprise, and they appreciate the university's efforts to remember Ariel Anderson, Brian Frazier, and Alexandria Verner. I don't know how to describe it, but instead of being like um, a place of like sorrow, it's kind of like turning into like a nice little remembrance memorial thing, and like the benches outside are very uh, nice too. Students tell me that after all the hard work, University officials should feel proud of what they've been able to do. I'd give them a thumbs up. I like the squirrels and I like the art that's on here and the chairs are comfy. Now, MSU also has plans to reopen what used to be the Student Union Food Court, where another student was shot later. That's also going to be a reflective space where students can gather. School officials tell me that this, that should be open by next week.